Second Ezra chapter 14. Verse 16, and it reads, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But guys, what people here for bed, just going through some articles. Pretty much 2023 was a hell of a year, man. It came with a whole lot of destruction, came with a whole lot of mayhem, chaos, a whole lot of people being deleted. You see, catastrophic events, you see, that, that certain countries hadn't seen since, since its um, so-called establishment. And, look, look, and the Lord said, greater evil. So we're just going to go through some um, some disasters, some so-called natural disasters, which, which is really called judgment of the Lord that happened in 2023. And look, and the Lord said, greater evils, meaning more bad times, more bad. The articles that we're going to look at, you know what I'm saying, right quick, the little, 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 little something, 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 it's going to be way worse in 2024. 2024 is going to be a hell of a year. You see? It's going to be a hell of a year because remember, 2023 was the hopeful year that all these prophecies came to pass, and and the majority of them came to pass. Man, the Lord was getting busy throughout the whole year, but but oh oh, how fast they forget! How oh how fast they forget! We're just gonna go through some articles right quick. Here are here are ten of the deadliest natural disasters of 2023. Right, let's go here. Let's go here. A year of disaster. That's, that's what I might call this right here. 2023 was a year of disaster. I think that's what I'm going to call it. 2023 was a year of disaster. Let's go, let's go here. So let's just get into it right quick. Wildfire deletes at least 100 people in Hawaii. You see? Yeah, I think I think um, the damages was always going to cost like 52 Five, I'm, I'm looking right here on the article, $5.52 billion to repair the damages, man. You see? Let's go back. Let's go back to the I got with scriptures. You know, scriptures got to come out. Second Edward chapter 14, verse 16, for yet greater evils. For yet greater evils, meaning greater bad times than those which thou hast seen happen, shall be done hereafter. So the articles that we're going to look at, the Lord said it's going to get worse. Every passing day that goes past, it gets worse. Every passing day that goes by is going to get worse. Seek the Lord, Israel. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. Let's go back to the articles. Look, look, look at this. Look, look, oh, how fast they forget, though, right? Fire, wildfire deletes at least 100 people in Hawaii. We're just going to keep rolling, rolling for a little bit. Going on to the next one. Heavy rain and, and flooding deletes at least 129 people in Rwanda. You see? We're going to bring out a scripture pretty much for every article. We're going to bring out a scripture, right? I want to read this one more time. Second Edges chapter 14. You see it. Second Edges chapter 14, verse 16. And it reads, for yet greater evils, meaning greater bad times than those which thou hast seen happen. The articles that we're seeing, right? We we, look, we saw that happen. The Lord's like, whatever you're seeing there, it's going to be greater. Greater evils are coming, right? Shall be done hereafter. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through AIDS. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. But our people got the tendency to forget, you see? They forget so fast, right? Let's, let's get this. Let's just show you, according to the Bible, who's bringing the evils. You see, they, they call it a natural disaster, right? We're going to show you who brung the so-called natural disasters, right? Let's get this. This is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Because it's, it's so-called, get ready to be a new, a so-called another year in a couple of hours. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we're gonna to go back to what happened in 2023. Because everybody's, when 2024 hit, it's going to get so bad, you're going to wish that 2024 came, even though that was a year of destruction, right? Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace. And create evil. The Lord said, I'm, I, I create the peaceful times and I create the evil. I create the bad times. 
I, the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, do all these things. But, but, but ain't, no, ain't nobody hearing it. Ain't nobody hearing it. The, look, the Lord created this right here. Look, look, look. Heavy rain and flooding deletes at, deletes at least 129 people in Rwanda, man. You see? Let's go to the next article. But oh, oh how fast they forget. You see? Look, Cyclone Mokcha deletes at least 145 people in Myn Myanmar. Myanmar. You see? Myanmar. You see, a cyclone, you know what I'm saying? The, the Lord said, I'm, I'm the one that's breaking shit, the power lines down. You see, this happened in um, Southeast Asia. You see, look, look they, they said that this storm was one of the worst experienced by the North, the, by the Southeast Asia nation in years, man. So catastrophic events was happening throughout all, you know what I'm saying, 2023, right? And it's going to get worse, all right? Let's get this earthquake. Claims at least 157 lives in, in Nepal. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a scripture. Said that, said that was the worst um, destructive things that happened to them since 2015. Oh, it's going to get worse. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, do all these things. Let's get another scripture. We're just going to flow. It's going to flow for a little bit. The Lord says it's going to get worse. Everything that we're seeing now is going to get worse, Israel. Look, look, Isaiah 29. Let's get this. Let's get this right quick. Isaiah chapter 29. Verse Let's go back to the article right quick. Look, look, look. Earthquake claims at least 157 lives in Nepal. And it's just some of the articles that I was going through for 2023, right? On November the 3rd, a 5.6 magnitude earthquake struck Western Nepal and deleted at least 157 people. All right. Well, look, look, one of one of its most destructive earthquakes took almost 9000 lives in 2015. You see. So, so the, you see the, the Lord starting to turn up. I want, I want to I want to get this though. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6, because people are trying to figure out who brought the earthquakes or who's bringing the storms, who's bringing the floods. Who, who, why, why are all these things happening? Why, 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 right? Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, right? Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. Didn't we just read about an earthquake? And great noise with storm and tempest. So who's bringing the earthquakes? Who's bringing the storms? Who's bringing the thunder? What comes out the thunder? Lightning. Who's bringing all that? The Lord, man. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of armies. And great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. The forest fires and everything. That's why we must fear the God of the Bible. Because he's the one that's bringing all these things. You see? Mother Nature, Mother Nature. No, yeah, how will Baha Shimia was shot, right? Let's go to the next one. Look, look, look all the damn, damn, damn house. No, say, turn the arm, a whole village, no, just destroy the whole village, man. You see? Let's go here. We're going to keep rolling for a little bit. Flo look, floods in the DRC take more than <clears throat> 438 lives. And look, look, these events have, we, talking about, we just talking about 2023. We're just talking about, we're not talking about the 1940s and 1950s. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about um, 1980, you know what I'm saying? Or, or 19. Now, we, no, we're not talking about, we're talking about 2023 alone, right? Floods in DRC, which is the um, uh, Democratic Republic of, of the Congo, you see? Take more than 438 lives, man. You see? This is a little storm, right? Them floods. Did we just read about that? Y'all didn't y'all hear that. Oh, oh, how fast they forget, right? Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm. Did we just read about that? With storm and tempest, which the tempest is a mighty storm, and the flame of the virus fire. So, so who, so who brought this event? Who brought this event in a democratic you know what I'm saying Republic of the Congo. The Lord, man, the flood waters deleted at least 438 people and left thousands more missing and homeless. So a whole lot of people are still not accounted for, man. 
took a whole village and just 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 ran it down to the ground, man. You see, you see everything destroyed. How it just level, man. The Lord just came through there and just level it, man. But ain't no fear though. But but it's gonna be though. Look look at this tropical cyclone Freddy. You know what I'm saying? Not Freddy Krueger either. Deletes at least 679 people in my, my life. Y. You see? And once again, here are 10 of the deadliest natural disasters in 2023. All right? And the Lord said, greater evil. Remember, we read 2nd Ezra, the 14th chapter. The Lord said, greater evils than what we're seeing there. The articles that we're seeing right now can't compare. They're not going to be able to stand up to what's going to happen in 2024. All right. And you Israelites have been warned. Tropical Cyclone Freddy deletes at least 679 people in Malawi. You see what, 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 it, what, it, what it say? Um, actually told likely exceeds a thousand. So it's more, it, it went over a thousand people. What would it say? At least 17 people died in Madagascar and at least 180 people was deleted in Mozambique, uh, where 184,000 people were displaced. You see who, who made all that happen? The Lord. Let's go to the next article. Go to that little, 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 remember, remember this? Oh, how, oh, how fast they forget. Oh, how fast they forget. Earthquake in Afghanistan. The elites at least 1,480 people. Everybody forgot about that, right? A, a 6.3 magnitude quake shook Western Afghanistan on October the 7th, which was a couple of months back, deleting at least 1,480 people and injuring thousands more and injuring thousands more Israel. Let's go back to the article. Let's go back to the article. What would it say again? Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai with thunder and earthquake and with earthquake. You see, do we just read about an earthquake and great noise? A little deleting over 1,400 people. One of 1,400 people. 1,480 people. It says, and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of the devouring fire. All the issues of deletion, a.k.a. death, come of the Lord. I must be allowed to get that. And then remember what we read earlier? The Lord says it's going to be worse. Every passing day, it just gets worse, man. Tribulation never seen before on the face of the earth. That's what's fastly approaching Israel. Let's get this. Psalms chapter 68, verse um, 20. It says thousands of people was deleted, right? Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, the name that everyone's going to bow to, right? Every, the names that everyone is going to tremble to, right? The names that everyone's going to fear, right? Is the power of salvation. And unto the most high the Lord belong the issues from death, man. All right. So who's 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 the actual who's the actual mastermind behind deleting all these people? The Lord. Earthquake in Afghanistan deletes at least 1,480 people. You see? Damn. Let's go to another one. Look, 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 look. Earthquake deletes 2,946 people in Morocco. Oh, oh, how fast they forget. Oh, how fast they forget. Everybody forgot about that one too, right? You forget. That was, that was just back in September. I'm saying a couple months ago, like what? Two months ago? 2,946 people in one day. In one damn day, man. You see, and injuring 5,674 people, according to the National Center for Environmental Information. So the Lord was getting busy with all the injuries. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the scripture. So it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Now, that's why that's why we always read in 2 Corinthians chapter um, 5, verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade Israelite men and women. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Psalm 68 and 20, he that is our power is the power of salvation, is the God of salvation, not Allah, not Buddha, not Santa. You got a whole lot of Israelites going and going to Allah now, bowing down to Allah now. They can't save you. You see, the God of the Bible belong to issues from death, man. You see, and until the most high, the Lord belong to issues from death, man. So the Israelites that are in the scriptures go to that. Matter of fact, let's get that right quick. Let's just get it right quick. You got Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Um, joining, um, becoming Muslims and all this other madness. 
worship Egyptology and all that. None of that, none of that man is going to save you or deliver you from the clutches of the Lord, man. All right. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel. I hope you Israelites are listening real good. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of Negro and Native American descent on your father's side, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or or woman, you see, the, the, the Lord is putting out, sending out them hitmen. Remember that the spirits that are created for vengeance. The Lord is sending forth spirits that are created for vengeance. I, I, I want to get this. Let's get this right quick. Deuteronomy thirty-two. Cause you, you see all those people that got deleted, man. And I, I haven't even brung out none yet. You see, I'm just touching on a couple of articles, man. Not even including, like I said before at the beginning of the video, not even including all the all the um, the blickies. You know what I'm saying? All the people that was banged to deletion, all the chaos, all the fighting, all the just house fires, destruction, man. People being thrown into chippers, you see? People being buried alive. It's just, just, uh, just, I'm just going to the just a natural disasters. Shit, if I went through that, man, I would never be able to end the lesson if I brought out everything that the Lord did throughout this year. Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Because what we're just reading this article right here. Would it say 2,946 people in Morocco deleted and 5,679 people injured? Do remember what the Lord said? I kill, I make alive, I wound and I heal, man. All right? Let's go to the next article. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, how fast they forget, right? Storm Daniel deletes at least 4,352 people in Libya. Another storm. Who brought the storm? The Lord. Who controls the issues of death? The Lord. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. On September, on September the 10th. Now, we just read about devastation on September the 8th, and then two days later, on September the 10th, them, them Storm Daniel smashed into the Mediterranean coastal city of Darna in Libya, bringing, it, bringing with it um, torrential rain and considerable flooding and bursting two of the city's dams. And, and as of October the 31st, the officials told sites at least 4,000, 4, so like not 400, 4,352 lives were lost with an estimated 8,000 still missing and fear deleted and fear dead. 8,000 people still missing, man. You see? Damn, man. So put the 8,000, you know what I'm saying, with the 4,000, and what, what, what do you got? A, a and 4 is what? You add it up, man. You add it up. You see? Add it up, man. Over 12,000. So basically, basically that day right there, the Lord deleted over, over um, 12,000 people. Really? Real spill, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai deleted over 12,000 people that day, man. Damn, man. Let's keep rolling. What, what else? What else? Let, and damn, another earthquake. Earthquake takes upwards of 55,000 lives in Turkey and Syria. Are you, are you not 50, 55,000 people? All right. On February the 6th. Oh, but oh, how fast people forget. Look, look 55,000 lives in Turkey and Syria, man. Uh, on February the 6th, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck east, southeast Turkey near the Syrian border, followed by a 7.5 magnitude aftershock. You see? Damn it, man. Damn it. The disaster took the lives of more than 55,000 people. What, what did we just read right here? But oh, how fast they forget, though, right? Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill. The Lord deleted over 55,000 people, man. All right? And I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's why, that's why we fear the God of the Bible. I, I, I must be allowed to bring this out. Because I, I mentioned earlier in the lesson that you got Israelites, you no know, saying, conformance to Islam and Buddhism and uh, uh, Egyptology and all the other madness, man. 
When we're supposed to be fearing the God in the Bible, is this it? Psalm 96, Psalm chapter 96, verse 4. For the Lord, Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared, feared Israel above all gods. Above Allah, Buddha, Setsamoria, the Hindu god of Shiva, all this other madness, man, the Egyptian gods, you see? And whatever else, I can't think of Jebus, you see? You're supposed to fear the God of the Bible above all those idols, right? For all the gods of the nations are idols, they're not real. It's, a, it's just a figment of your imagination, right? Bowing down to an idol, bowing down to a God that ain't even real, right? For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Yahweh, though it's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, uh, along with the, um, the first fruits, you know what I'm saying, the other angels, the Elohims, made the heavens, man. You see, and, and everyone's going to fear soon come. Matter, matter of fact, let's just get this. I must be allowed to get this. I must be allowed to get this. You got a so-called new year coming. It's going to be new disasters. It's going to be more people being deleted, all the above. The Lord's not going to stop. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not but the unjust, nor of no shame. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. These articles that I'm bringing up, if this doesn't um, scare you, then I don't know what to tell you. Je you think 2024 is going to be, you're going to think you're going to live your best life. Yeah, I'm living my best life. No, man. It's going to be a, a year of horror, a, a year of chaos, a year of mayhem. Hell, hell this might be the year um, that this devil, you know what I'm saying, bring forth, you know what I'm saying, that, um, that see him and make it mandatory that you're taking the plantable device in order to buy and sell, man, all right? And you heard it first, man, Jeremiah. Uh, and this is always, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, right? Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10, and it reads, But the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, is the true power. He is the living power, an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. And the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation, meaning his righteous anger. Look, look, look. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. He deleted over 50, 55,000 people, man, with one event. That this doesn't you know, scare you, though, right? It doesn't scare you, though, right? And you, you still ain't scared, right? All right, let's go, let's go to the next article. Let's go to the next article. Damn, man. These are the t top 10 2023 deadliest natural disasters, man. Earthquake takes more than 50,000, 55,000 people, you know what I'm saying, in Turkey and in Syria on February the 23rd, on Fe in February. Storm Daniel deletes at least 4,352 people in Libya. Earthquake deletes 2,946 people in Morocco. Earthquake in Afghanistan deletes at least 1,000, well, at least 1,480 people, so forth and so on, man. You see, and it's just uh, just some of the events, man. It's just some of the events that I brung out, man, in, in, in the news, right? 2023 was a, was a deadly year. You see, once again, Jeremiah 10 and 10. But the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is the true power. He is the living power. Our power actually lives, you see, an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. And the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. Yeah, I just want to bring out that. Man, I'm just going through some articles. Just, just I'm going through some, some of the deadliest events of just 2023 alone. You see, and we read earlier the first scripture that we brought out was Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16. Greater evils, Israel. That's why it's time to seek Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, because greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here after. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. Seek the Lord, Israel. Shalom.